conforming socialists trying to suck up to Iran and some of those other bad actors in the United Nations ecosystem, as those like to say, the ecosystem, and in that ecosystem, Choco is a worm. I'm not going to say monkey. He's a worm. He's lower than a monkey, is what I'm saying. I mean, monkeys are intelligent. And Choco is a worm. Choco worm. <laughs> but really now, Choco was an embarrassment. He was not an American president. And so when he made a speech at the United Nations, a lot of platitudes and, you know, he recently had a rally. He thinks he's running for president again, but he's an embarrassment. He doesn't have that mojo anymore, that Kenyan mojo, the teleprompter reading mojo, because people know he's a failure. But he was there calling Republicans radicals. Really not. He's calling today's GOP radical. But in his eight years as puppet president, he never once called ISIS radical. I mean, think about that. Now really think about that. And that's how messed up Choco's brain is. If a Choco worm really has a brain, I don't think so. I think somebody removed his brain at some point. But the contrast couldn't be more stark when you see a real American president up there at the United Nations. And the United Nations only exists because of us. And the headquarters is there. And it's in our nation. These people are lucky that it even exists. But they've been abusing it and using it to smear the USA and the allies. So F that. If they don't improve, then that's it. On the other hand, what President Trump is trying to do is, you know, get rid of globalism, embrace patriotism, and work on making your own countries great again, so you don't have to leech off of other countries, and get rid of socialism. He actually told all of these people, prevent socialism where you see it pop up, it could go away because it's a road to ruin, and he's right. Every time throughout history, socialism has been an abysmal failure everywhere, and it really does lead to misery and war, and we've seen that with national socialists and communists. And so really, President Trump has made a historic speech just now. I mean, I was sitting here watching it, and I couldn't believe how magnificent it really was. And you could hear a pin drop. And when he was blasting socialism, telling people that, hey, if it pops up, they could go away, they went to, I guess, one of those socialist countries like Norway or Denmark or whatnot. And you had those two creepy grannies sitting there, real socialists, right, with the socialist glasses like Rachel Maddow. And they were like, what is he saying? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> he's talking about reality now. And so a lot of people, <laughs> imagine you're like in some country and you're like running the socialist party of Timbuktu or whatnot. And then it's like uh, the president of the USA just said, what well, you're championing is war and misery and failure. So how about that, right? And Choco is a socialist. And right now you have the Democratic Party in our nation and they're all socialists. I mean, they're not wanting to associate themselves with Bernie Sanders and Alexandria Octopus. Uh, I mean, they're not wanting to associate themselves with Bernie Sanders and Alexandria Octopus uh, Cortisone, or <laughs> whatever her name is, but they're all the same. The other ones are just more honest about what they really want to do, which is insanity. And the other socialists are more polished. I mean, they're lying, and they mastered the art of lying and hiding your true 
Trump intentions socialists. And so you can really summarize President Trump's speech at the United Nations like this. Hey, I'm the President of the United States. Uh, we're doing great. Our country is just doing amazingly well. And you guys are sucking pretty much, but if you make some good trade deals with us, maybe you can stop sucking. And globalism, forget about it. Socialism, don't even think about it. And you guys have been uh, messing around. And if you don't quit, if you don't improve, we're going to shut this place down. Got it? Okay, thank you. And a round of applause.